Beth from Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team, um, and I'm just going to be showing a quick um, example of our new tool, which is called Visualize Change. Um, and it is uh, essentially something we created for two reasons. Um, so it's just launched last month, so if you kind of haven't heard of it beforehand, then that's, that's probably why. Um, and we made it for two reasons. Uh, we're all making edits all the time to OpenStreetMap, um, and to help non, the non-converted understand kind of what that is and what that means and, and why it's cool, it's really useful to be able to do quick, easy visualizations and just kind of show, here's loads of stuff happening really fast all at once. Um, so we wanted to be able to see updates to OSM over time, what and where has changed, and also make it possible for anyone to do this over any time period from like one event or a week of events, a week of edits, through to like five years of edits, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and to make it like self-service, downloadable, um, easy packaging, basically. Um, so this tool has two views. Um, this is the basic one. Uh, really simple, you go to the site, you select an area, um, and you view the visualization. Um, you can see here, this is uh, just a really simple one over um, Lisbon. Or a slightly more advanced one where you can select specific dates, um, you can select a speed of animation. So obviously if you're doing like a visualization over a week, you probably don't want the same speed as if you're doing it over 10 years um, and things like that. Um, and then basically you can download these and share them on other platforms like um, Twitter, etc. Um, and I'm just going to show a couple of examples. Um, so this is Kanan in Haiti. Ooh, how do I press play? Okay, so this is Kanan in Haiti, which is an American Red Cross program through the Missing Maps. Um, Canaan is a, ta a city actually of about 400,000 people, uh, which did not exist at all five years ago. Um, so they've been doing loads of mapping, especially using like very recently captured drone imagery as and when it's grown. Um, and this is obviously like a huge settlement that no one knew anything about. Um, and they have um, created masses of data here. Sorry, one second. Um, then this next one here, this is Monrovia, um, just to show that you can go back in time. So this is 2014. This is one month of mapping around the um, Ebola crisis then. Um, and again, really simple. You can just see you know, as and when these um, edits came online. And... And Accra in Ghana, which is part of our present World Bank Open Cities program. So this is um, the past three months of edits that have happened there um, coming online. So essentially, you can see that these are really simple um, visualizations. The idea is to kind of condense and make it really simple for people to put in presentations on Twitter, um, anything that enables them to show how quickly they are doing cool stuff in OSM. Um, so with that, Please use the tool and share using it. Um, and if you're going to do that, use this hashtag so that we can pick it up um, and ask us any questions or anything else you want us to add to it. Thanks very much.